Hello friends, welcome again to my YouTube channel Tech Knowledge and today we will discuss about the topic Compiler Design Option. So let's begin. Each computing environment has special characteristics that influence the nature of user convenience and efficient use of resources. Hence, different kinds of system programs have been developed to suit the requirements of individual computing environment. A compiler is a translator that converts the high-level language into the machine language. High-level language is written by a developer and machine language can be understood by the processor. Compiler is used to show the errors to the programmers. A compiler is a language processor that converts a user program written in programming language into a machine language program which can execute on computer while an interpreter is a language processor that itself performs the action indicated in a user program without generating a machine language program. The main purpose of compiler is to change the code written in one language without changing the meaning of the program. When you execute a program which is written in high level language, then it executes into two parts. In the first part, the source program compiled and translated into the object program, that is low level language. In the second part, object program translated into the target program through the SAN assembler. Here is a diagram for compiler and assembler. First, the source program is given to the Compiler and compiler makes the object program. Object program then goes to the assembler and assembler gives the target program. A compiler is a language processor that converts a user program written in a programming language into a machine language program which can execute on the computer. While the interpreter is a language processor that itself performs the action indicated in a user program without generating a machine language program. We have learned that any computer system is made up of hardware and software. The hardware understands the language which human cannot understand. So we write the program in high level language which is easier for us to understand and remember. This program are then fit to fit into a series of tools and operating system components to get the desired code that can be used by the machine. This is known as a language processing system. Let us first understand how a program using C compiler is executed on a host machine. First, we we'll use user writes a program in C language that is high level language. The C compiler then compiles the program and translates into assembly program that is low level language. An assembler, then trust, an assembler then translates the assembly program into a machine code that is object code target program. A linker tool is used to link all the parts of a program together for execution that is executable machine code. Then a loader loads all of them into a memory and then program is executed. So the language processing system steps are first preprocessor, compiler, then assembler, linker, loader and memory. Compiler design architecture. A compiler can broadly be divided into two phases based on the way they compile. The first phase is analysis phase and the second is synthesis phase. Uh, synthesis phase. Known as, the analysis phase is also known as the front end of the compiler. The analysis phase of a compiler reads the source program, divided into the two core into the core parts, and then checks for lexical, grammar, and syntax errors. The analysis phase generates an intermediate representation of the source program and symbol table, which should be fed to the synthesis phase as an input. Second is synthesis phase. Synthesis phase is also known as the back end of the compiler. The synthesis phase generates the program, target program with the help of intermediate source code representation and symbol table. Here is the diagram for the architecture of compiler. First the source program is given to the analysis phase, then it converts, uh, then the intermediate code converts it and then it gives to the synthesis phase. Then from the synthesis, uh, in the synthesis phase, it generates a machine code. 
Next is interpreter. An interpreter is a language processor which bridges an execution gap with generating, without generating a machine language program. Yes, an interpreter is a pro computer program that is used to directly execute program instruction return using one of the many high level language pro uh, programming languages. Interpreter does not perform any translation of the source program. Instead, it performs analysis on the source program statement by statement and itself carries out the action implied by each statement. The main advantage is elimination of compilation overhead. This feature makes easy for programmer to check any particular line at the time of debugging but slows down the overall, overall time of execution of the entire program. That is the only uh, disadvantage is that it slows down the time of execution of a program. Here is a diagram of interpreter. The source program is given to the interpreter and interpreter converts into the machine code. Advantages and disadvantages of interpreter are the advantages the program code is already translated into the machine code. Thus, it, uh, thus it code execution time is less. Disadvantages, interpreter are easier to use especially for begin, uh, beginners. Uh, advantage, you, cannot, uh, you can't change the program without going back to the source code. Disadvantage, interpreted program can run on computers that have the corresponding interpreter. Next, role of compiler and interpreter. Role of compilers. Compiler reads the source code, outputs executable code. The executable result is some form of machine specific binary code. It translates the software written in a higher, le higher level language into the instructions that computer can understand, that is low level language. It converts the text that a programmer writes into a form format the CPU can understand. The process of compilation is relatively complicated. It spends a lot of time analyzing and processing the program. Next is role of interpreter. The interpreter converts the source code line by line during the run time. Remember that during the run time. Interpreter, interpret completely, interpreter completely translates a program written in a high level language into the machine level language. Interpreter allows the evaluation and modification of the program while it is executing. Relatively less time spent for analyzing and processing the program. Program execution is relatively slow as, compa as compared to compiler. So the, there are two main reasons to use the interpreter that is efficiency in certain environment and its simplicity. Okay. Next is Comparison of interpreter and compiler. Interpreter takes single instruction as an input. Compiler takes entire program as an input. No intermediate object code is generated. Intermediate object code is generated. Interpreter translates the program one statement at a time. Compiler scans the entire program and translates it as a whole into a machine code. Interpreter use, usually take less amount of time to analyze the source code. However, the overall execution time is comparatively slower as uh, slower than compilers. Compilers uh, usually takes a large amount of time to analyze the source code. However, the overall execution is comparatively faster than interpreters. Program need not be compiled uh, every time the higher level program is converted into the lower level program. The pro, uh, in the compiler, program need not be compiled every time. In the interpreter, errors are displayed for every instruction interpreted, if any. In the compiler, errors are displayed after entire program is checked. That's why the execution time of interpreter is more and the execution time of uh, compiler is less. Programming languages like C, C++, Java uses compiler and programming languages like JavaScript, Python, Ruby, 
user's interpreter. Next is pure and impure interpreter. Pure interpreters. In a pure interpreter, the source program is maintained in the source form throughout its interpretation. Each statement of source program is analyzed while interpreting. While interpreting. This arrangement acquires substantial analysis overhead when interpreting a statement. Impure interpreters. An, in, an impure interpreter carries out some preliminary processing of the source program to decrease the analysis overhead during the interpretation. To reduce the analysis overhead, some initial processing of source program is done by the impure interpreter during interpretation. The source program is given to the preprocessor. The preprocessor converts the source program into the intermediate, intermediate representation. Then this intermediate representation is used during interpretation. Since the code is an interme intermediate form, it speed up the interpretation by analyzing intermediate representation more efficiently than analyzing of source program. Basically, this speed up the inter interpretations since the code component of inter uh, code component of the inter uh, intermediate representation that is uh, that is the intermediate code can be analyzed more source resourcefully than the source form of the program. Okay, next P code compiler that is pseudo code compiler. Like an interpreter, P code compiler are also analyzed and convert the source program in an intermediate code. P code compiler are also called bytecode compilers and are very similar in concept to interpreter. The source program is analyzed and converted into the intermediate form which is then executed interpretatively. With a P-code compiler, this intermediate form is the machine language for a hypothetical machine, often called pseudo-machine. P-code object program, P-code object programs can be executed on any machine that has P-code interpreter. Here shows the process of translation and execution using P-code compiler. First source program given to the compiler, then object program P code, it convert, it generates the object co object program of P code, then P code, uh, this P code is given to the P code intermediate uh, interpreter. So advantages and disadvantages of P code compiler are, the first advantage is portability. The main advantage of this is portability of software. It is not necessary for a compiler to dif generate different code for different computers because the P code objects pro object programs can be executed on any machine that has a P code interpreter. For example, Java compiler itself is written in Java. Therefore, the compiler can also run on any machine with a Java interpreter. Next is it saves the money. How it saves the money? The P code object program is often much smaller than a corresponding machine code program would be it, it saves the memory so it saves the memory size. The slower execution of a program is the disadvantage of P code compiler. The execution of P code program is much slower than that of equivalent machine code since many P code compilers are designed for a single user system. Speed of execution is insignificant because response time is the major factor in the system performance. So basically the source program is compiled by the P code compiler which generates the object code which is P code. This P code program is then read and executed by using P code, P code interpreter. Thank you for watching.